So your setup in general is pretty good. The club face is pretty much squared up behind the ball. Club and ball are in the center of your stance. Uh, feet are about shoulder width. Feet and hips are lined up in a complementary position. But you can see how that right arm is a little bit in front of your left, away from your hip. You want to get that right arm of yours a little closer to your body, oh, right? Okay. If you tuck it in like I have, your shoulders are then square to the target. Yours are now lined up left or open, right? And if your shoulders are lined up open, you have to start your swing with either hands or other movements to your body. So there's more moving parts that need to be done, right? So we square up your shoulders, and from that, you know, even if you're looking at yourself in a mirror, let's say, practicing, you want to see the leading edge of your left forearm in a mirror. You don't want to see just your right arm. So that's something you can practice to get the squared up position to become more natural. Just tucking it, right? And even softening the right hand grip will help that. Your spine angle is pretty good. Body weight, for the most part, is in the balls of your feet. Just try to maintain it there on a regular basis so you don't sit in your heels. Mm -hmm. Just be aware of that. We'll watch the swing as you take it away from the ball now. So the club goes straight back with your arms, okay? You so see your arms and hands are pulling the club back, and then they're lifting at the top of your swing. You can see how there's a little bit of an overswing, okay? Because okay? yeah, right. what happens yeah. is you get to there, and then that left arm literally folds and collapses. Then you re-extend it, the arms. You bring it back down in front of your body. You time this one pretty well to get the club onto the ball, and you turn on through. But even there, you're a little restricted in your follow-through, right? So if you can turn your left shoulder and arms kind of back behind the ball in one piece, you'll be able to utilize pivoting and using your legs and hips for a more effective downward motion and follow-through to completion, right? I've always felt I've had a yeah. rotation prior.